So today I want to share with you seven patterns that I have sewn and these are sewing makes that I will be showing you in the next coming weeks. So the first one is Simplicity 8701. This is a pants pattern, hacking pattern, and this pattern is the only pattern out of all of these that I had to, to make the most adjustments to. The next pattern is New Look 6540. This is a shift dress and this is one of the patterns where I deviated from the pattern recommendations for fabric and I just chose to use something different so you'll get to see how that turned out. Next is Simplicity 8988. I made View D which is the top with all the, the contrasting on the sleeves and at the front. And this is my only scrap buster project out of all of these makes. Next is New Look 6288. I made the skirt that the model is wearing. And this is the only pattern that I sewed that I actually have sewn before. I don't have the skirt anymore, but I have sewn it or I did sew it in the past. Next is Simplicity 8529. And this is a pullover top. I made view B, which is on the top left. Out of all of these makes, this is absolutely my easiest make. Next is McCall 7816. I made the sweatpants, which are view C. And this is definitely my favorite make out of all of these. Next is a vintage pattern, and this is Simplicity 7373. I made this jumper dress, which is view one. Well, they're both jumper dresses, but I made view one. And out of all of these makes, this is my only vintage sewing pattern. So that is it. Those are all the patterns that I have sewn lately. And like I said, I will be showing you the finished garments in the next coming weeks. And I just wanted to share that this top that I'm wearing is McCall's 6164. And I've made this several times. It's actually an old pattern, but it has the little gathering on the sleeves. I've made this several times and I've shown it before, but the only thing I did different this time is I'm actually wearing it backwards. So it has a little scoop in the back, but I just decided to turn it around just to give it a different look and I like it. So yes, that is McCall 61. 64. So one of my subscribers asked if I would consider showing my sewing room. And yes, I have no problem showing my sewing room. That's kind of a tongue twister. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around my room and just show you a little closer, you know, some of the things that I have in here. So yeah, I'll go ahead and turn the camera around and show you my sewing room. Okay, so I am standing outside of my sewing room and I just wanted to open the door to show you what it looks like from the outside and on my way in. Okay, this is my sewing room. Let me show you just a, is it called panoramic when you go all the way around? Yeah, and I have this table here which I purchased at Ikea as well as, ch as the chairs. They're from Ikea also. And those are my two machines. And when I'm sewing, I put my pattern on the wall and I just hung those with some clear command strips. And I have my computer. And my printer and there's a window. And there's a closet. It's really nothing to this room, but I wanted to share it because someone wanted to see it. And this is my cutting table. And I have actually put some risers on my cutting table to raise it. So it's a little above waist high for me, which is perfect so I don't have to bend over too far when I'm cutting. And I will link a video where I talked about the risers for the table that I have in my sewing room. And then this cabinet here, I got it from Ikea also, and I keep my patterns in there. And then this little, I don't know what you call this little thing here, but I keep my fabric scraps in there. And these are, let me just show you the book my patterns look like. Yeah, so my patterns are just in there and I just sort them by company. So McCall, Simplicity, so on and so forth, all the way down. And 
that is it you guys yeah so that is my sewing room and i spent a lot of time in here yeah so before i go i want to leave you with a love share and you kind of had a sneak peek but my love share is an app called fireplace hd and what that app does is it creates or you have a fireplace inside of the app when you open it there's a fireplace and you can choose different fireplace looks and you can play the fireplace on your tablet or on your phone or something like that and it will just create an ambiance in the room and just kind of have the little sound from the fireplace you know the wood crackling in the background and it just creates a nice little scene in a room so that is my love share however on the screen that i showed you in my sewing room i actually had a youtube channel showing on my computer screen and it was fireplace hd so if you pull up fireplace hd on youtube or do a search you'll find hours and hours of videos of fireplaces and if you want to have that kind of look on your computer screen you can pull up youtube if you want so that's just another option so you could either do youtube or the app on your phone fireplace hd yeah so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed and i hope you look forward to seeing my sewing makes and you will see me in the next video if you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.